Hey everyone, I'm gonna be doing a brief overview of Catalyst. It is the protocol upgrade that's coming to Kyber Network. If you don't already know what Kyber Network is, it is a liquidity protocol. It's a protocol designed to basically have a lot of assets on standby, ready to be plugged into a DAP or a DEX, things like that. And you might think, well, isn't Kyber Network a DEX? No, Kyber Swap is a DEX. However, Kyber Swap is powered by Kyber Network. Now, the current model, before I get into Catalyst with Kyber, is, at least for KNC, the one use case it has is to be burnt as a fee, you know, and paid for by the reserves. So right now, the reserves, the one, pay, you know, providing you the liquidity, they pay a fee for every trade on the network. That fee must be paid in KNC. And of that fee, which is currently 0.25%, 70% of that is burnt out of circulation forever. And 30% of that is given to DAP integrators. So for example, if my Ether wallet, you know, they've integrated Kyber. So for any trade done through my Ether wallet, you know, my Ether wallet gets 30% of those fees. So it incentivizes DAPs to integrate Kyber, which is good the ecosystem and such um, it can provide dApps you know a source of revenue if they don't have one like that now if you look at their, their tracker you can actually see you know the burn amount it's been crazy you know so much knc has been burnt and th that's great <clears throat> and a lot has been collected too uh, by dApps but again it's kind of an obstacle for reserves you know they have to buy this token they have to hold this token and they have to pay money to provide liquidity, which sure they're making profits off of providing liquidity, but these fees definitely do cut into their profit. So uh, Catalyst is gonna be changing the game completely. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now in the new system, reserve managers are actually gonna be paying no fee. And instead they'll get what's called rebates. So reserve manager rebates is you know, it's a percent of the network fee that's gonna be sent directly to those providing liquidity. So it incentivizes liquidity. Whereas in the previous or current model, it doesn't really incentivize liquidity because they're paying uh, to provide this liquidity. So that's good. You want to incentivize liquidity because more liquidity means less slippage, more competitiveness, and that brings more users, which, you know, a better ecosystem, more fees generated, et cetera. The other thing is DAP integrators. So in the current model, 30% of the DAP integrator, sorry, 30% of the fee is given to DAP integrators. Um, I used Mu as an example. However, in Catalyst, you know, these DAP integrators, they're gonna be able to set their own fee. So it's not gonna be baked into the contract that these integrators get X amount. Um, they'll just be able to set however much they want on top of the current rates. And lastly, KNC holders are going to benefit from this upgrade because they're going to be the ones that are going to be voting in the Kyber DAO. And the Kyber DAO is kind of what Catalyst revolves around. So it's basically, it's a decentralized autonomous organization, um, a, a group of governors who don't even have to trust each other that govern this protocol. You know, right now, um, it's you know the fee is baked into the contract it's a static 0.25 percent however this DAO could vote on for example what that fee is if they want to raise it if they want to lower it things like that now there is this cool graphic further down that kind of shows so um, i'll get into what exactly they'll be able to govern in a minute here however this is kind of the flow of what it's going to look like so you've got you the knc holders now you stake your knc in the kyber DAO. And then you get voting weight. So that voting weight, you know, that's how much you, when you vote for a proposal, that's how much weight you have to whatever you vote. So as an example, I guess, um, say you have 10 KNC and the entire supply is 100. Now all 100 is in this Kyber DAO and 10 of it's yours. That means you now have 10% of the vote weight. So for any proposal, when you vote, you're you know voting for 10% um, of the entire network that you know votes yes or no or you know raise this whatever it may be. Um, <clears throat> so you'll be able to govern the Kyber network, which generates network fees 
you know, as was as seen here, you know, these fees right here, that's kind of what's generated um, on the network. And then those fees get sent back to the Kyber DAO. Then the Kyber DAO disperses those fees to the KNC holders proportionate to what their, you know, voting weight was or how much they staked. Now, this is actually really important and a really cool thing, too, because a lot of projects or protocols that even have some staking feature, more often than not, uh, the rewards to those who stake, it, it's brought in through inflation, right? So, yes, you're rewarded for staking. However, you're not really rewarded just because, you know, your rewards are literally generated and created on the spot to reward you. you know, it's inflation. Whereas with Kyber Network, there is no inflation, no new KNC. It is all sustained just on the network fees generated. Um, so some of the things you'll actually be able to vote on are one and maybe the most important is the actual, you know, network fee altogether. Right now, you know, it's 0.25%. However, that could be raised or lowered to be more competitive or get more rewards, whatever it may be. So other than that, you'll also be able to vote on the percent that rebates or reserves get for rebates. So how much you want to incentivize that liquidity to come to Kyber. You'll be able to vote on how much is burned. So it's still going to be a deflationary supply. Um, and then lastly, you'll be able to vote on how much these KNC governors or holders, how much they'll receive out of the Kyber DAO. And you might think, well, wouldn't they just want to vote, you know, so that 100% of the fees goes right back to themselves? Well, sort of, but probably not. And I say probably not because if 100% goes to the governors, well, you're not incentivizing liquidity at all, right? And if you don't incentivize liquidity, you're not going to get as many reserves providing liquidity and less liquidity, less, you know, more slippage, um, you know, less liquidity in general to provide. So to you know, it kind of stunts the growth of the network and you want the network to grow because the more users, the more competitive it is, you know, the more fees that are generated. So not only would they not want to do that, but you might also think, well, maybe they want to raise the network fee itself to double, you know, 0.5%. But again, you're not really being competitive because Uniswap, for example, is 0.3%. So if you had a 0.5% fee, that's kind of making it much harder to be competitive um, while the KNC holders are going to be receiving more rewards. It's going to, you know, reduce the amount of people using Kyber, which, you know, in the long run is going to reduce network fees. Less network fees means less given to KNC holders, even though they voted for a higher fee. So they kind of have to figure out and vote on this, you know, equal balance or good balance between all of these. Um, I, I'm, I'm pretty pumped. So, you know, it's, it's a pretty big change from being just burned from the reserves um, and changing into rewarding KNC holders who govern the protocol, you know, liquidity providers, and all sorts of stuff. So, um, like I said, it should be coming out in early quarter two of this year. If you have any other questions or if I didn't cover something in this video, which is highly likely, um, like I said, I will post this blog in the description below. Otherwise, please reach out to me at DeFi Dude or go to their Telegram, Kyber's Telegram, uh, and that can be found on kyber.com. So thanks for watching. I hope this uh, was a little useful for you. See ya.